it is time for the official welcome to Sexy MF 30 for the funky new album entitled hmm. All right. This is why we are here. Mm. You should have jumped, Edgar. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, to for you know to whom it may concern, that was from the tune to whom it may concern. If you haven't seen that video, it is hilarious. Um, I highly suggest that you seek it out. <clears throat> And so we are very excited to have you sexy mother. So thank you for mm. being here today. You got a lot of samples for this? <laughs> yes. Locked uh -huh. and loaded? Yeah. Right. I have tons. All right. uh, I have, let's see. What is sacrifice? Uh-huh. It's good and one. And let me, let me try another one. <laughs> All yeah, right. Okay. All right. We got a request to play the intro again. It is very, very funky. I'm going to try it one more time. The funky new album entitled. So that is why we are here. All right. Let's see. Anybody here? Okay. So Ron and Nicole and Robin Stevens. Hi, Robin. Thank you for being here. I really do appreciate it. So <clears throat> this is where we have to do some formal things, <laughs> like um, thank some people. So the first thing I actually I can hear you. Okay. Um, so the first thing I want to do is actually thank um, the PRN alumni, like, um, I, the, the event is actually, the PRN Alumni Foundation, the event is actually free, but I'm hoping that you will consider donating to the PRN Alumni Foundation. And the PRN Alumni Foundation was uh, formed in 2017. It consists of employees from Paisley Park, as well as PRN Productions, which is um, Prince Rogers Nelson, for those of you who don't know, who may be new to Prince. Um, I'm hoping that we actually have some students from NYU here, um, from the Clive Davis Recorded Music Institute, as well as my own program, Integrated Design and Media. We got a name change. It used to be Integrated Digital Media, but now it's Integrated Design and Media. And we go by IDM. So I'm hoping that we'll have some students joining us today. Um, to learn about Prince. So I might be saying things that you already know. I know most of you know what PRN stands, PRN stands for, but we might have some students who don't know what PRN stands for. So that's the reason why. And um, <clears throat> yes, JD, thank you so much for saying there are lots of interesting books in the booth section. Um, thank you so much for letting me know that many you had not heard of previous, previously. It's kind of an inside joke between me and Edgar Cruz. Um, we had an exchange and I told him that books are forever. <laughs> and so, <laughs> J.D. Washington, you have just confirmed and I have won my argument with Edgar that books are forever. Uh, <laughs> so, thank you so much uh, for, for, for saying that. Greetings from I Italy, French. Um, is it Francesco? Thank you so much for joining us. I don't know if we've had Italy before. So thank you so much. We have Australia, we have the UK. Um, sometimes we have Japan. Um, I haven't seen anyone from Japan today, but it's really great to have Italy in the house. All right, so in addition to the PR and Alumni Foundation because we support them, um, I wanna give some special thanks to our NYU sponsors. It's really important because they helped me promote the event. <clears throat> and they will be heavily involved um, in the fall when we do our triple threat symposium in person if the COVID gods align and everything is okay. Um, if the COVID gods do not align, um, we will have to be um, virtual again. I hope that is not the case. Uh, I really want to do an in-person symposium. The last one was in Atlanta for Bat Dance. 
um, and that was 2019. It's been a long time. I love the virtual symposia, but um, it's something to totally different when it's in person, a totally different vibe. So for our NYU sponsors, we have NYU Tandon, which is my faculty home. We also have IDM again, which is my program. And then we have NYU's Global Inclusion, Diversity, and Strategic Innovo Innovation. Um, they are a really important supporter of the symposia. In fact, we have a main member, Manuel France, who will be moderating a panel later today. I'm very grateful for that. In addition to um, OGI, which is the Office of Global Inclusion, Diversity, and Strategic Innovation, we have a sponsor, Institute of African American Affairs, and the Center for Black and Visual Culture, which essentially equals Dr. Deborah Willis. And if you know anything about Dr. Deborah Willis, she is a national treasure, a MacArthur genius. She is who I wanna be when I grow up. Um, so nothing but love um, and respect for Dr. Willis. And she has supported me uh, from the very beginning since I've been at NYU and she continues to do so. Uh, Dr. Deborah Willis is also the department chair of the photography and imaging program in the Institute of Emerging Media at NYU, and they are a sponsor as well. And then we also have the Center for the Study of Gender and Sexuality at NYU. They are a sponsor, as well as the 370J Project, which is the home of my program in Brooklyn, on the Republic of Brooklyn. And then we also have NYU's Liberal Studies, and we also have Dee in the house, who is a really huge Prince fan and supporter. So we are incredibly, incredibly grateful for the support of Liberal Studies. And then I have to give a major shout out to one of my favorite people. If you ever have the opportunity to see Jason King speak, run to hmm. see him speak. Um, I've been trying to get him to speak at one of these symposia, maybe I can twist his arms and legs for the fall if we do it in person, <clears throat> but he's in very high demand. Um, but we have to give a major shout out to the Clive Davis Institute of Recorded Music. Again, some of their students are gonna be with us today and tomorrow. I'm super, super excited about that. Um, I don't know if students are up this early <laughs> yet. So maybe there aren't any students here yet. But if there are any students in the house, um, let us know, because I definitely want to give um, some shout outs to the students. In addition to um, thanking our sponsors and also thanking uh, the PRN Alumni Foundation for all that they've done over many, so many years in terms of the employees of um, PRN and Paisley Park, I have to give a massive shout out to Krista Battersby, who has been my day one. <laughs> Krista is my day one. Um, <clears throat> Krista doesn't even work at NYU anymore and she is still helping me. So nothing but gratitude and thanks. Please treat her kindly. She is our community manager. She will be interacting with you. <clears throat> and then in addition to Krista, um, massive thanks to my right-hand man, or might be left-hand man, depending on where he is on your screen, um, Arthur Turnbull. Um, oh, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> I, it's, I don't feel like I would be so lonely without you here. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm just waiting. I'm just, I'm just waiting for the four core plus one music snob piano. <laughs> <laughs> yes, which will be later today. So you will have to wait very long. And Miles had already started to trying to engage on Twitter, but I just refused to engage. I was going to keep it for today. You know, it's not it's not adversarial. It's not it's not adversarial. What I'm just happy to see you. You want to argue? Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. All right. So Lynn says. You are her favorite music snob. Oh, I appreciate that. I appreciate that very much, Lynn. Yeah. And quick shameless plug, we are ramping up a new season of the Music Snobs beginning in early April. We've got shows in the can. We've got recording dates set on the calendar. So I'm looking forward to being back. Awesome. Can you give us a teaser? 
Um, mm, well, um, we will, the series, we will cover a monumental jazz artist that is uh, been someone that we've been wanting to talk about uh, primarily on the show for a number of years. We're going to profile a very influential uh, producer who is tied very closely to hip hop and um, who is credited at, as changing time. There's been a book recently written oh, about him. Yes. Um, that should be pretty easy to figure out. Yeah, we. Uh, so it's gonna be it's it's gonna be a mix. We're gonna one thing I can say we're gonna start from doing a series of of music labels, and we're gonna start with a very famous. Uh, think of the most famous jazz label, and then think of the one like right under that. So. Impulse. Okay, the one right under that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Verve. Rockabash. Hi, Rockabash. Rockabash says Verve. Uh, you know, we're close. A little a, a, a little a little toward the alt side of things. Okay. Alt. But we're but we're close. But we're close. Okay. All so. right. Awesome. Um, so I'm scrolling through and I see Mel Smith is here um, from Australia. Thank you so much for being here. And I also saw Dr. Claw. It's always so great to have you here. Um, hi, Richard. Hi, Richard Cole. Thank you so much for being here. Um, good morning, April Watson from Tampa. Um, let's see. Hi, my triplet. My triplet is in the house. Camila and DJ UMB is here. So awesome. Um, let me see. Um, okay, I think I've done all of the thanks. And I just want to say really quickly um, and put it in the chat, but I don't think it's really necessary, um, is our code of conduct. You know, just be kind to people. Obviously, we can have spirited conversations. As you know, we don't all agree, so it's not about agreement. Um, but just be kind to one another. And if you feel like um, there's some, some people aren't being kind, let Krista know. You can direct message Krista, and um, she we'll look into it and investigate it, but hopefully we will, um, you know, get along with everyone. Cause Prince is all about- some of the, oh, I'm sorry. Prince is all about love for one another. Go ahead. Can we, <laughs> can, we can we kind of preview the, the, the first round of presentations? Cause they yeah, look really- Yeah, I was just- about, <laughs> They look pretty engaging. Yeah, yeah. So I was just about to kind of give an overview of the entire day. And then we can kind of um, go back and kind of talk specifically about some of the specifics. So um, right now we are in our official welcome and then we are going to um, have our first presentation panel, which is going to be moderated by the amazing, the lovely darling Nisi, um, also known as by her real name, Kanisa Williams. And there will be four individual presentations we are going to get things started off with just the indescribable C. Lee McInnes. Uh, he won't be here with us um, in real time. He might be in the chat, but he has recorded a presentation for us. Um, most of the presenters have pre-recorded their presentations, not all of them, just so to you know make sure there aren't that many technical difficulties because sometimes we have technical difficulties and when we do is usually because of the presentations. So um, this morning for our first round of presentations, which will happen um, from noon to 2 p.m. Eastern, uh, Eastern time, which is New York City time, we're gonna start off with C. Lee, then we're gonna have the incredible Erica Thompson and you know that her realm is Prince and Spirituality. So if you wanna be, um, you want to be there here for that. And then next we have a new speaker um, to Sexy MF30 and Polished Solid Symposium, Sherry Wing. And if you're into sex and fetishes and all that jazz, you don't want to miss her talk. And then we also have another new speaker um, to a Polished Solid Symposium. Um, we have Adam from Lake Minnetonka, who's also from Melbourne, Australia. 
For those of you who follow Lake Minnetonka, I'm extremely excited about his presentation because he is a musician. And when it comes to Prince, I personally love talking about Prince's music. Um, there's so much you can talk about when it comes to Prince. You can talk about Prince's sexuality. You can talk about style. You can talk about race. You can talk about politics. You can talk about a lot of stuff. But at the end of the day, I live for Prince's music. So I really love the um, music presentations. And Adam is doing one of those. So after the four presentations, there would be a Q&A with um, the speakers who are present with Darlene Nisi. Um, feel free to come with your questions or comments uh, about their presentations. And that will be another 30 minutes. And then we're going to take a 30 minute break. And I hope that during the 30 minute break, you do bio breaks and you move your body. Speaking of move your body, there is um, a yoga booth in um, in the booth, it's actually the first booth, um, Darren Robinson, she is my favorite yoga instructor and she's really good. So if you wanna do a little yoga, um, we have a yoga booth for my yogis um, in the space. And then the moment that Arthur's been waiting for is gonna be at 3 p.m. Um, Eastern time, New York City time. And for 90 minutes, the core four plus one music snob, Arthur being the music snob, the core four being Zaire Ali, Anil Dash, Miles Marshall Lewis, AKA the contrarian, as well as Elliot Powell. And they have been with me from the very beginning, 2017. I think this is our ninth time um, being together. They, not, they have not missed not one. When we were in Atlanta, they all came to Atlanta. It was a beautiful thing. So. I really appreciate them and their continued commitment to our conversations. And if you've heard a conversation before, you know what to expect. Um, and after um, our conversation today, if you want more, I actually have a core four booth where you can see the majority of the core four conversations from the past symposia and events. Um, and then in some cases, I couldn't fit all of them because of limitations of air meet. You can find them in some of the other booths, like in the Welcome to America virtual celebration booth and so on and so forth. And then we will take another 30 minute break after that. And then um, we will have another presentation panel, which will start at 5 p.m., 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern time, which is New York City time. It will be moderated by my wonderful NYU colleague and Prince fan, Monroe France. And we will start off with Stephen G. Fullwood's presentation. Stephen's presentation from one plus one plus one is three about controversy was one of my favorites last year. Uh, I really look forward to his presentation this year. And actually, this is a stellar panel. The, the presentation. That's no, good. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's stellar. We got Zach Hoskins, um, who's going to be, I got to read this long title. <laughs> It's a long title. Mm -hmm. Just your average 320-year-old rock star meets jailbait Middle Eastern princess story, princess love symbol album as transmedia narrative text. So then we also have Robert Loss, who also does incredible presentations. He's, he's usually just oral presentations, just like C. Lee, but they can be just as powerful. But if you want like a stunning visual presentation, Edgar Cruz always brings it, and he mm -hmm. will be the final presenter for our final panel of the day. Um, and Edgar will be, his name of his presentation is Four Chains of Gold. I'm not going to go over what we're going to be doing tomorrow, um, but we will pretty much start around the same time. Um, but after that presentation, um, the final presentation panel of the day, we are going to have an hour social hour. And what I'm going to do, um, if you're willing, I'm hoping that some of you will actually share what your favorite symposium has been or favorite moment from your favorite symposium or your favorite speaker. And if you don't want to do it publicly, I'm going to put this link in the chat. Um, you can send me via WeTransfer or Google Drive or however you want a very small clip um, of you telling me 
your favorite symposium, favorite panel, speaker, presentation, because I want to compile a clip for our next symposium that's happening in the fall for 40 years of 1999, what time is it, and Vanity Six. And the symposium is going to be Triple Threat 40 Symposium, and hopefully it will be in person at NYU, most likely in Brooklyn, if the COVID gods align. We will see. So if the COVID gods align, don't align, we will be back virtually, unfortunately. But I hope it is in person, too. So where are we on time? We got 11.53. So I think Darling Nisi has a chain mall hat. She does. And I asked her to wear it. But I, I, don't I know feel I need to see the hat. I need to see the hat too. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that would really set the tone for the weekend. It would. Yes. I've asked for me. Yes. I've 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 asked multiple times. <laughs> yes. Please wear your hat. Please wear it. So we'll see if she wears it or not, but that would be fantastic. So Richard Cole says, bring on the hat. Um, I want to say. April, April, this is um, April's first symposium. I have to give a very special shout out to April Watson. Thank you so much for being here. Um, it's kind of calm right now, but once the presentations and the round tables start, um, the chat is gonna be hopping. Um, you can come and go as you please um, throughout the day because it's a very long day. Um, but I hope that you enjoy yourself and I hope that you hang out in the lounge and meet some people, um, new people, and maybe um, catch up with some people that you already know. So that would be really cool. Um, and Seeley is a great opener for the, yes. for the conference to begin with. The thing about, about Seeley's talks, he rarely, if ever, provides slides, but it's because he does not need them. And he packs in so much information into his talk, yet you absolutely don't get bored, you absolutely don't get lost, and you absolutely have to fight yourself to contain yourself so that you can take it all in because you will be so motivated to Appalled. jump, <laughs> scream, holler, talk back, bear witness. It's an exercise. So once you get past Sealy, you won't want to leave the conference. Yeah. You won't. It's not going to happen. Yeah. So Tina has a question. Um, can you review past symposiums? And the, the answer is yes. In fact, if you go to the booths and you go all the way to the bottom, I actually have booths for every single symposium and event. And in those booths, there are links to YouTube and also the symposium website where you can find videos of the entire um, symposia. So um Oh, one thing I should mention about the booths, actually, the majority of them have video um, in the banner header. Not all of them, but like 98% of them do. So when you, go on the, if, when you go on the booth and you click on the masthead or the banner, you can see one video. And then on underneath that, on the side, you'll well, actually underneath these buttons, you'll see um, other videos that you can click on, but then they will pop out in a new window and take you to YouTube or Vimeo. But if you just want to stay in the AirMeet um, platform and only just watch maybe one video per booth, um, you can just click on the banner um, and that'll get you to um, a sometimes an overview video of the symposia. Other times, um, you know, a panel or a presentation panel or a roundtable. Um, Drea, please go to the lounge this time. Do not be an introvert. Just go to the lounge, sit at a table, wait for someone to join. So Drea wants to be brave. I'm hoping someone will be brave with Drea and just join her at a table. You don't have to turn on your video if you don't want to. So again, your audio and video are automatically turned off. You have to, you'll find um, when, when the table comes up, it's going to be like a little black area. You will see a mic and a video and you can turn on your mic and your video. And if you don't want to turn on your video, just leave it off and you can just talk just like on zoom. If you're used to 
to doing it. Um, Pam, there should be an introvert table. You know what? I am. Um, Krista, I think you can change the name of the tables. Um, let me know, Krista, if you can change the name of a table to introvert table. Uh, that would be really awesome because I, I would go to the introvert table. Um, yes, Arlene, thank you for saying this. So um, Betty Davis, may she rest in peace. Um, Recently passed, and for those of you who know me, know that I love Be Betty Davis, and I actually did a symposium for her the week before the Love Sexy Symposium um, in 2018, and you can see the entire symposium, which also features someone who recently passed. The late, great Greg Tate um, spoke at my Betty Davis Symposium. I was so grateful. Uh, that he accepted my call. So um, not only are we celebrating Betty, but we're also celebrating Greg Tate. Um, okay. So much, yes, much love to the beautiful Betty Davis. May she rest in peace. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna transition to our next session, which will be the beginning of our presentations. So we're going to session hop. So thank you so much for being here for the welcome. You sexy mother. We really do appreciate it. All right. See you at the next session in two minutes.